No, not yet, but we found something that could potentially also getting ready to make a nest. It's the most African green pigeons I've ever seen in one sighting before. I counted nine of them. Now you might just see, oh no, of course when we do that, they're just to the right of that bird. If you pan to the right, you'll be able to see a whole lot more. There we go. You can see the little balls that you can see on the tree. Those are not sort of any ants nests or anything like that. Those are all birds. Now it doesn't look like there's many, but like I said, there's not a whole about nine of them. And I've just spotted a whole bunch more. They're obviously moving around in this area. Perhaps there's a tree that's about to start fruiting. Maybe that's why they're hanging around here. Okay, well that one is the ants nest. How come we can't see them? I can see them, they're all there. If you look with your naked eye. Go to go more to the right. Are we on two different oh we're on two different trees, that's why. I'm on the tree on the left. Mm, all right, okay. Really Sorry, hard. I thought you were looking at the tree with so all of them. There we go. Yeah. These are all the birds that I was telling you about. There are a couple in that one too. But there's a whole bunch of them sitting out there. They're obviously quite with the shower earlier. Everything is slightly um, on the chilly side, there's not really much sun to warm them up. But they're all sitting there, some of them huddled up together, all fluffy. But it's just interesting that they're all around you. Perhaps this is the spot that they roosted in and they haven't actually moved at all. Though I can't imagine many of these birds would have been able to have withstand it holding in, holding into it, holding onto a tree, into a tree, holding last night's wind. I'm sure some of them would have had to have taken shelter on the, to have taken shelter on the ground unless it was particularly a, a big tree with thick branches and maybe lots of dense leaves that could have helped shelter them but uh, sitting on a tree like this would leave them quite exposed they actually look like they're sleeping at the moment now there's lots of jackal berries around here there are lots of guari trees you know the guari trees should get their fruit soon so perhaps that's why they are waiting in the area it's just a pity that the light is not great this morning because the African green pigeons are really lovely birds to look at. They've got such beautiful colors on their fe feathers. We often chat about it from greens being the prominent color, yellow, and even a little bit of purple. <laughs> Jennifer, you say that these birds are incredible and you love them. They are. They're, they're interesting birds to sit and watch. But look at this one. This one looks about three times the size of uh, an African green pigeon when it's warm. They're just trying to fluff themselves up like that to help them see, help them keep nice and warm. I can also hear Retz's helmet strikes. We might try and see if we can find them. I actually can think I can see where they're bouncing about. Should we move forward? Let's go a little bit further forward. Let's see if I can. 